could be a very lonely um, live stream because I don't. Snake doesn't seem to have any interest in joining, so. Just gonna be me and this recording. Well, not this recording, whoever is watching this. If! If I post this, that uh, means I have to do really good. I typically always continue runs if I beat Desert in good time. It requires beating Desert in good time. Which is not hard, but it's still. It's getting harder every time I be beat my record on it. Like, 140 is not impressive, but it's still decent, right? This is not the way I normally beat that level. In fact, I believe the way I did it is slower. Nope, not good enough for a record, but I think it's still a good enough run in general, so might as well roll with it. This is the easiest way to do this. do this run right. Maybe it's not the fastest, but I'll get faster the better I get at it, you know? Okay, I don't know what happened there. That was a bit weird. Oh, could happen twice. Oh. Generally unhappy. I'm usually unhappy with that. Probably gonna get a terrible with this map now. Hmm, this doesn't mean we'll do terrible in steampunk, sci fi, and uh, the uh, hell. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. I mean, when it comes to speedrunning this game, I'm not bad, but neither am I good either. Like, the only thing special about me and speedrunning this game is that I just do a lot of crazy skips that lose a lot of time. But, I think in the future... I won't seem crazy when it actually works, the skips I do. this works, whatever. Nope, it doesn't. Ah, oh, this, this actually does work. That's what you're supposed to do. 17 seconds is not that bad, whatever. Could be better, without a doubt.
decent start. Also, I don't think it's good to jump off this. I think you lose time when I do that, but I would say it doesn't matter, but every half millisecond matters when you're speedrunning. Because if you keep saving milliseconds, well, then guess what, eventually, well, it might even add up to a minute. It's a stretch, I know, but... like fall off the edge like that. Now if I just do good on this level, I won't lose that much time, but I didn't do good on this level because I keep trying a new strat, which is really good. You gotta actually do it correctly and not die. Oh, why am I falling off the side of this? Oh, because I didn't jump. There's one patch I would like. I would probably be fixing the trucks to be less glitchy. Like that. They're just boosting me off of there with the heck. It's the only thing I would work I would want fixed about this game. Oh yeah, I guess I'm dead. Hey, I'm back on track. Sorry, well, if this video is released, right? Uh, sorry for anyone if this is a bit boring. I'm not commentating that much, but that's because there's no one in the stream. I mean, I can commentate. Yeah, I'll just do that. I'll just pretend like there's someone here. No reason for me to not. 
the way, that level is really annoying by a four. Because those things can pop up, and what they'll do, sometimes, it's not always, is they'll go straight down while you're underneath them. Oh wow, this is also annoying. And they'll pull you straight down into the ground. Interesting about 5-7 is what you can do is you can go on the side of the vehicles to save some time. And you can, uh, what you can do is on the side of the vehicles is launch yourself up over this area to this side of the wall. I don't know if that made sense, but it made perfect sense to me. Oh yeah, we can skip that fire. We're fast enough. We just gotta be fast enough. And daring. Not good enough. This is good enough. I actually could have made it over the wall there, but I don't need to. It's, it's faster. It's not faster, but it's safer to do it this way. And so whatever safer is better. I hate this part so much. This skip is like the worst because it's... It takes a bit of time to set up, and it's easy to fail. Oh, but I did fail this time at least. really easy to do. I don't know why people don't do it. I mean, I failed it sometimes, but it still can get it most of the time. And... You gotta time your uh, jumps then, because if you don't, you're gonna get hit by the trucks, and that's not good. A dead U is probably not that good at, that good at speed running. I don't know, it's generally, if you're dead, you're probably not that fast. This trick was taught to me by Snake Upon. It's a good way to get a consistent time on that level. I don't know why. I probably should instantly go for this skip, but I don't for some reason. Except for mostly oh, Zenzu, hello. It's been a year since you've last seen me or stream, because I've streamed actually been streaming quite frequently right lately. This skip's a bit annoying to pull off because <sighs> there's an easy way to do it, which everyone else does, but I don't feel comfortable doing the easy ways and stuff. Oh, you, when I did GD speedruns? Huh. I see. Yeah, uh, geometry speedruns are not really that, um, fun <laughs> compared to cluster, 
compared to other games, if you want me to be honest about that. Oh god, this is gonna be close. Oh, that's how you do the flush right there. Oh, you did? Oh my god, I got annihilated. Okay, so I didn't know those- I played this game for like 60 hours and I didn't know those missiles actually killed you when they hit you. Yeah, um... GD... Well, the reason why I actually GD speedrunning isn't that fun is this- there's just like no skips or anything like that. It's just playing optimally, that's all it really is. Like, you just don't die, and that's how you do the speedrun. So, like, the difference between a speedrunner and someone who's not is, like, almost nothing. Now, this game, ooh, I like this game a lot. Mostly because there's a lot of skips and the physics. Ah, oh, this game feels so nice to play. Yeah. This is a slow way to. I really hate how you have to kind of wait for you, and then you go womp. Probably could have went earlier, but I'm not really confident in my skills. I actually have you actually played Cluster Truck? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna call you Zam, or just want to call your full name. You want me to call you Zuli? Shazam. Oh, you don't have enough money, ah. Yeah, when you do have enough money, it's a great game to check it out. Oh, there we go. That's a fun skip. See, there's that blower thing, and normally it blows you away, but what you do instead is you make it blow into you into a truck. And so then, oh, I hate this. Holy crap, this is a mistake. <laughs> but you make it blow into a truck, and for some reason it doesn't blow you more. I don't know why, but... And then you can just go to the goal right after that. whole entire world is literally just do the truck boost off the wall. It's the world in a nutshell. By the way, despite the fact that I'm speedrunning this, I actually do try to take it kind of slow in a way because most of my runs are practices. Like right now I'm trying to get a perfect boost off right now. Not perfect, this is still kind of bad. But my goal is to not only get a good run, but also get to get good future runs. So in order to do that, I practice a bunch of skips every t uh, time I run the game. But even if I fail right now, I'm actually making some good time. Well, 
actually, I don't know. I might have thrown it. No, I still have like two minutes to beat Steampunk. never get this skip perfectly. That would involve levitating all the way to the end. Ooh, that was my best steampunk. the end of there. That was some bad RNG, but that's fine. Someone who just played Cluster Truck once, though, I seem pretty magical. Because <laughs> I'm just constantly flying across the entire map. In fact, there's a lot of people on the world record for this game saying that the speedrun's faked. Which is kind of funny. But I swear, in general, that's what happens for most speedrunning communities, is that people are like, what, how do, how do you get this good at this, how do you get this good at breaking the game, uh, hacks. Oh. Um, the very best get consistent. Some of these skips I get consistent, right? But most of the time I don't at the moment. I'm gonna do a skip right after this level, which I always, it's like my signature skip, and I might lose like three minutes trying it, but I tr have to try it, because if I don't tr actually do the skip, then I can't get really, really good at this game. So I don't know, it's a little bit frustrating, because I throw my entire run away trying to this, do the skip. No one else does the skip but me. This is like one of the hardest skips I have to do, and I, it's the last level too. And I'm really rusty at the skip right now too, that's the thing. <sighs> Damn it. Yeah, see what I mean? I might not get personal best because I'm trying this to do this skip. Oh wait! I might be able to do it right now. Yep, there we go. That was lucky. Unless I fail at placing the truck down on the button. Up like that. Oh my god. So there's two ways. So when you're doing this level, what you have to do is you have to place a portable truck on that button. Because what it does is it activates it twice, which kills the boss instantly. 
but if you don't, the boss doesn't die instantly. And for me, that's a really bad thing. I don't know, this is a very frustrating skip. I maybe should ditch it. I still improved by a minute 30 though, so... I like that dude. I'm actually getting closer if my summon's best. I think I'm gonna post this on YouTube because the last one I posted on YouTube, I think I got a 29. And so this is about a four minute difference. And yeah, yeah I'm gonna post this.